what we're doing is, first of all, we got the plates out that we shot this afternoon and, and late morning. And uh, we're heating the plates in the sun so that the, they'll dry, number one, and number two, they'll take the varnish in a good way. Uh, right now, I have a microcloth, a cotton rag will do, and I'm buffing off the, the uh, silver scum, so to speak. You have a plate like this that's got some oyster stains on it. You can come along like that and take them off, you see. And so what that does is, in essence, clean your plate up so that when you varnish it, you don't see that stuff. And then we have canned air here, and then we basically just blow off any of the dust from the microcloth and the leftover silver scum. So while I'm, uh, I want you all to watch what I do, and then when I'm done pouring the plate, I want you to start cleaning your plates, and we'll come back, and uh, each one of you will then take your turn uh, at the varnish station, varnishing and heating. So we're going to go over to the varnish station. Once again, the varnish is out here to heat. Uh, we, we're not having real good cooperation with the, the sun. It's coming and going today, so I put a catalytic converter a heater. I don't know if it's a converter, but it's a catalytic heater. Uh, by Coleman, and it's nice in that it's not flame oriented, it's, it, it heats up this uh, cloth. And the advantage to that is that we're dealing with a, a, a varnish that's 95% uh, alcohol, and so we don't want to catch it on fire. So the first thing we do is we heat the plate to the point where it's almost not touchable. Then we take the plate and very carefully pour the collodion onto the plate. Not collodion. Varnish, correct me. Yes, varnish. Then say it again for me. Okay. And here we pour the varnish onto the plate and we drip it off. Really doesn't matter how we pour the varnish on. And then we just wick it off. Once again, just like collodion, but it's varnish. This is not important to get it thick on one side and, and on the other side too. It's just important to get it on to the plate. And so what I'm going to do now is, is now that most of the excess, I'm going to kind of keep it vertical because I want the wick not to pull back where I pour it off. So I'm over the top here. Actually gets to the point I can't hold it. The sun being out is good with along with the catalytic heater. So it just takes a few minutes to set up the, the heat the the varnish. And uh, as as I've told you before, the reason why we varnish a plate is that once this plate is varnished, it seals the silver from the air. And once the, the silver is sealed from the air, it can never turn black. It will never oxidize. So this plate, just like the original ones from the 1850s, will remain in the same color. It will be preserved, in essence, for millenniums, as far as we know, as long as it isn't set on and, and put in water. This image is good. Uh, no one really knows the shelf life for many hundreds of years. Uh, it just is, isn't going to go bad. So that's why we put the varnish on it. If we didn't put the varnish on it, the silver would uh, uh, remain in contact with the air and the plate within about between 10 and 25 years would turn dark. Within 50 years it would be black. So the reason why the old timers varnished and sometimes didn't varnish was based on the exposure of the plate. If the plate was a little dark, they chose not to varnish it because it would, it would dry out uh, one or two stops lighter, and that's the way they sold it. If they varnished it, if it had been too dark to begin with, it would have darkened it back up again and made it unsellable. The ones that did their job right and did a proper exposure uh, would varnish the plates, and those are the plates by the millions that still remain today 
and throughout the world as the tintypes we've uh, come to love and malign. So this is the reason why we varnish versus not varnish. And it takes on a high gloss at this point. Yes, uh-huh. Richard, there's your plate. Just put it back in the stand and it's good to go. Stick it. Turn it around, let's see it. Yeah, let's hold it up. No, I want to see you too. <laughs> let's see you too. <laughs> like this. Like this. Bend over, bend over. <laughs> so awesome.